This is Eric Dick, CEO of iStack Training, coming to you live from the control room here in Victoria, British Columbia. Uh, I'll show you. This is not a post-apocalyptic post bomb shelter. This is just the power room of this wonderful office that we have here uh, with Helmkin, a digital media buying agency. So you can see the beautiful tourist street out there. What a lovely place to be in the summer, Victoria. Is uh, also I can save on wolf T-shirts if I so desire. So, uh, hi, welcome to the webinar. Now. When we ran the webinar, I mistakenly deleted uh, or didn't record the first part of it. So I wanted to do a quick intro to everyone here, run you through the, 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 the intro stuff as quick as possible so that we can get to Patrick's amazing content, uh, which is why you're here. So again, Eric Dick, CEO of iStack Training. Here are the secrets of Facebook media buying webinar. So let me just present this to you here. So the title. So what you're going to learn here is how to get profitable on Facebook, running Facebook campaigns, CPA campaigns in as little as six weeks, even if you've never done affiliate marketing. This webinar will give you the tools, tactics, strategies to get you set up running Facebook advertising campaigns. We're going to teach you how to access and select good CPA offers for Facebook. We're going to talk about building top quality audiences on Facebook and we're going to teach you how to lower the CPA of your campaigns by improving the relevance score. These are three invaluable skills that Patrick's going to teach uh, throughout this recorded webinar. Um, this webinar will teach you whether you are an affiliate marketer, whether you're into e-commerce, drop, drop shipping, Shopify, anything like that, you need Facebook to promote your products as you well know, or whether you're building an agency or whether you even have a product or service, there's going to be information in this webinar that is directly uh, related to you. If you stick around to the end of this webinar, you're going to get a case study. We're going to show a case study where Patrick reduced the CPA by over a thousand percent, allowing him to scale. And who are we? Patrick will get into who we are. Again, you, you know who I am, hopefully, a little bit. Uh, Patrick will explain as soon as we start the recorded webinar. But iStack Training and AdBaker are two widely regarded uh, companies in the performance marketing space. If you look on our landing page right now, you'll see that the head of performance marketing, Maria Claudio, actually just gave us amazing testimonial to say that we are among the leaders when it comes to knowledge about Facebook advertising. Uh, so go, go check us out. We put on the amazing Facebook Mastery Live in Berlin. We're running the Facebook Masterclass, which is a high-level course for Facebook. I'm a, I've, got, I've got a podcast that I've started. We've also done the six-week AMC, and we're from the family of STM Affiliate World Conferences, where we're able to connect the great minds from the conferences and the great audience from the forum with this amazing, super valuable information. Oh, and marketers, too. If you don't know them, they're an amazing lifestyle brand for what it's like to be a young, performance-minded marketer in the world today. So uh, we'll talk about Facebook Mastery Live. Hopefully you've seen some clips from it. They're all over our YouTube channel, iStackTraining.com, uh, youtube.com slash iStackTraining. Uh, it was just an amazing event, high level, of, it's huge amounts of knowledge bombs. I had 40 people come up to me afterwards and tell me it was the best training event, best conference they'd ever been to. Uh, so hugely valuable. We're doing this again. Uh, Affiliate World Asia, get your tickets now. Ticket prices go up tomorrow. So check out iStackTraining.com for that. Uh, you know the opportunity for Facebook is massive. I made a funny meme, check that out. Uh, th one of the big issues in the world today for Facebook is that black hat marketing is getting harder and harder to do. Uh, Facebook has come out and declared war essentially on cloaking, which as any black hat marketer knows is going to make life a lot more problematic, which is why we advocate the following methods that you're going to hear in this webinar because they are white hat and they allow you to build long term stable businesses. We're huge advocates of the white hat way to be. You can make a lot more money with white hat than you can with Black Hat in the long run for sure. So if you're just thinking about Facebook now, you should really be thinking about it as a, as a white hat advertiser. Uh, yeah, Mark, even though he wore a black hat once, he definitely wants to wants you to roll up your sleeves, put on your hard hat and go white hat all the way. So this is a disclaimer, we are not gurus. We don't teach overnight systems. We don't teach things that uh, you're gonna get rich with in the next month or so. We teach high level skills. We, Facebook is the best advertising platform in the world and we teach ha the best possible ways uh, on how to use it. So. We're not gurus, we're not, we're not saying this is a system, but we're gonna teach you skills that are hugely valuable, hopefully for the rest of your life. Uh, so Facebook is the most important platform, as you may know, uh, if you're an affiliate or e-commerce or an agency. With the skills from this webinar, you're gonna be well on your way. So without further ado, how to get profitable on Facebook campaigns running as little as six weeks, even if you've never done affiliate marketing. So the next little bit is Patrick explaining who he is. Patrick is one of the coolest guys I've met. 
he is starting to tell you how he was actually a concert pianist in Germany before he became a marketer, before he went to law school. He, you're going to jump in right after he gets introduced into CPA marketing for the first time and he realized that even though he could play the piano like Mozart, that marketing uh, is where he'd write his magnum opus. So uh, without further ado, here's Patrick and uh, thanks very much. I talked to a friend of mine that I haven't been talking to for I think like maybe eight years. And I just asked him, like, hey, well, what you're doing? And he said, like, yeah, I'm doing CPA marketing. And then he asked me, like, Patrick, have you ever heard of CPA marketing? And I said, no, tell me more. And I'm sure you know what it is. It's essentially another, another verbiage uh, for, for affiliate marketing. And that's when I literally started to discover this new world that it had nothing to do with whatever, with, with anything else that I saw. Uh, and it also required a completely new set set of skills that I didn't have. Uh, like I mentioned before, in, in order to, to run CPA campaigns, you need to set up your, uh, among others, your, your own domain, your own website, you need a server. And I literally thought that I had to buy a server uh, on Amazon for, I think, 2,000 bucks um, uh, and, and just plug it into my dorm room in, in Santa Clara. So uh, you can call it stupid or inexperienced, but I made it, uh, even though I'm not the, the most techy person. And uh, yeah, so I actually it was kind of crazy and a weird, but uh, I, I, I just studied law. And then after uh, being done with, with studying and, and after all the lectures that I had, I was just sitting and, and working on my first campaigns. And uh, that's, that, that's a path that I pursued, uh, even though it was hard at times, but uh, it was definitely worth it uh, looking backwards because we, uh, I co-founded with uh, Michael and with Simon that, that you were seeing on these pictures uh, uh, here, uh, a, a really great company that's called AdBaker, um, we're a white hat performance marketing agency based in Cologne. And uh, as you can see, we're spending a little bit of money on, uh, on Facebook. Um, we started out as affiliate marketers, as I mentioned before, all of us, and then we randomly met at a party in Cologne. Um, Facebook at the time was something that not very uh, many people have, have, have really done. Um, today it's a little bit different, but three years ago, especially in Germany, we were actually, I don't want to say the only ones that, that did Facebook, of course, but there were not as many advertisers as today. So it was really cool to connect, and um, AdBaker was the result of, of, of our friendship. Um, and yeah, today we're, we're not only doing CPA marketing and we're not, not the affiliate dudes that we used to be, but we systematized everything that we, uh, that we did, everything that we learned um, into uh, you know, processes that we deploy in our agency. So we are not only doing CPA marketing, but we also work with bigger br brands like Porsche, for example, uh, Kingston Technology, a uh, software company from the, from, from the States. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and helping those companies to, to grow um, their business um, in, in, in a new way, in a different way. And uh, by the way, that, that's just something I want to point out. The thing that I did or that we did, we started out as, as, as affiliates, but soon we discovered how incredibly valuable this skill is. And also Jason Ackett from, from A4D, great guy, so also great block, you should check him out. Uh, he emphasized that, that affiliate marketing is essentially a way of learning how to set up a business. Uh, you, you're not only learning how to run Facebook marketing campaigns, but you learn all the other steps that is necessary to either build an agency, to build your, your own e-commerce store, because in my opinion, what, what, you're, what you're seeing very often is that, uh, you know, all those gurus tell you that, that marketing is easy or affiliate marketing is easy. Um, the, the pure affiliate marketing component, it certainly is easy if, if you know what to do in, in what order. Uh, I mean, setting up Facebook marketing campaigns is, is no rocket science uh, by itself. It's just a matter of taking action because if you go to um, Affiliate World, for example, if you see all those people on stage, those are not people with PhDs. Uh, you know, they're, they're no smarter than you are. Uh, something that they have mastered or that every affiliate has mastered is all these soft skills, um, and that is time management, uh, being being stress resistant, um, learning how to how to build up relationships with other people. So it's not only the Facebook aspect of things, but there's way more to it. 
and and that's what what you learn. So I think our my company is also a, uh, or our company is a great example for in what direction you can uh, or or how you can leverage your your affiliate marketing skills. You can build an agency. You can work on your own uh, products uh, and services. Uh, you can you can pursue a a career as a coach. What, whatever it is. But it's just definitely a, a really valuable skill uh, to learn, and it's especially Facebook marketing because if you're looking at how many people really or how many businesses really want to go after Facebook advertising that they haven't yet, uh, I mean there is just a tremendous opportunity there if if you're if you're a good Facebook marketer and it's not that hard, right? Okay, so that's enough storytelling. Um, if you have any questions, then just let me know. And well, as Eric mentioned before, this. Webinar uh, or this presentation is all about scaling uh, CP offers, about finding CP offers. Um, so, of course, I'll, I will not give you a, a complete walkthrough. Otherwise, we would have to stay on this webinar for for probably three days uh, or maybe even more. But what I will point out is the most important uh, uh, the most important aspects um, of of running CP offers on Facebook. So it starts with Finding a converting CP offers, and I know probably heard this like a thousand times. You need you know you need to have a good offer, uh, and and I don't want to bore you to that. But this is really the number one thing uh, that 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 you should um, that you should consider, um, because if if I look at the offers that 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 we are running, so out of twenty offers, you have eighteen offers that are not working out, and then you have one offer that's doing okay and then there's this and then there's offer number 20 that's like completely taking off um, so it's you can be the best media buyer in the world and probably there are media buyers and Facebook advertisers that that are better than, than me uh, there, there's no doubt about that but our company is still doing okay because one thing we really focus on is CP offers and the formula um, that that I'll present to you in a moment is based all based based on on what I just said right now. The offer will make or break your campaign, and so the formula is really a following. You have to have three things in place. First of all, a converting offer. Then number two, it has to be compliant on Facebook. You don't want to mess with policy. Uh, like we have a wonderful Facebook rep uh, in Dublin, and we love working with her, and she's fantastic, and she really helps us out a lot with optimizing campaigns um, and, and yeah we, we really love to work with Facebook but even though she's working at Facebook if if we are pissing off policy there's nothing she can do about it she can give us feedback about you know why Facebook policy was pissed but uh, you know just to give you uh, just to help you understanding a little bit how how important it is to, to be to be uh, to have an offer that's compliant on Facebook if policy doesn't like you you can have the best Facebook rep in the world will really have a hard time running that offer on on Facebook. Um, so make sure your your uh, your offer and also your ads are policy compliant. And number three, scale is also really important. Um, there are many converting offers out there, but you need offers that you can scale that are not capped at like ten sales a day or ten leads a day. You have to have something that you can scale to several hundred uh, a day because that's what Facebook marketing is all about. You're testing stuff on a small scale. You try to understand what's working, and then you try to take those winners and 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 just scale it with with more budget. So I think these are the three key elements you need to have in place: a converting offer, something that's really policy compliant, and something that you can scale. So, how do you find those offers? Actually, um, my favorite thing is to establish a good relationship with an affiliate manager and just really ask them for converting offers and especially being the one that gets the offers first before other affiliates are getting them. That's that's a key thing here. So uh, if, if you're looking for top CPA networks, GiddyUp for example is one of the networks uh, we love to work with. They have fantastic e-commerce offers. Um, then A4D, for example, also a fantastic network. And there, I mean, if, if you need uh, any suggestions uh, which network you should go with, uh, just send me a message. Uh, and I can provide you with a list. But for example, uh, just starting out with GiddyUp uh, would be cool if, if, if you get in um, because they're just really great network. So uh, we have an affiliate manager there, and 
whenever we want to promote a new app or offer, we just we ask him or he heads us up and says, like, hey, we have this new new upcoming offer here. And to show you how easy it is, this is just, for example, a uh, screenshot of a Skype chat with his name is Jay, and he was like, hey, man, thanks for getting back to me. Figured out you were probably swamped. Uh, it's a time of the year for everyone. It was funny. When I looked over your account, one of my bosses thought your name said familiar and that you did a mastermind in Berlin. So I totally didn't understand, blah, blah, blah. And then he said, like, hey, I have a ton of information to show you after Tracker. Uh, did just a little over 5,000 sales in it last week, so it's still super consistent. So this was the offer we wanted to run, and then I didn't have time to, um, or we didn't have time to promote it because of the uh, event that took place in Berlin. And then I essentially followed, uh, followed up with him, and he confirmed that it's still doing really well, sent me a screenshot. And what he also sent me is an offer sheet with all the top offers uh, that, that they're running. So if there's anything I'm interested in, I can just pick it, and I can just try running it because I can just definitely see here's something that converts. So again, you're hearing that a thousand times maybe, but it's still, the, in my opinion, the number one way to go. Finding a good offer and establishing a really good relationship with the affiliate manager. So if there is a new offer, you're ideally the first one mm, who can drive traffic to it. Now, this is an offer that, that we're talking about, Tracker. Um, it's, it's a little item that you can attach, for example, to, you know, can be even your dock or your wallet, and you can track it, for example, your keys. You can track your keys in case you lose them. And, uh, well, what's, what's important here? A few, a few more hacks. When you approach a CPA network, um, have one thing in place, and that's a professional agency website. It doesn't have to be anything that's super complex. Just make sure, make sure it's simple, it's straight to the point, and it looks professional. Don't approach CPA networks like, uh, hey, uh, you know, I'm an affiliate. You, you really want to present yourself as a media buying agency, even, you're, even though you are an affiliate. That is really, really important, because the one thing you have to understand is that Affiliate networks or CPN networks hate affiliates um, because there are many affiliates who just, you know, uh, don't comply with the terms of service uh, services of uh, affiliate networks. Um, they, they start some fraudulent activity. So when you speak with affiliate networks or with affiliate managers, actually they hate affiliates. You have to be an affiliate that they like and, and the first thing you have to do is not appearing as an affiliate but as a media buying agency. And then, um, if you're looking for, for intros, reach out to your personal, personal network. So, something we're doing very often, if we're looking to get an intro to a, to a CPA network we haven't worked with before, um, we actually just reach out to a couple of people where we think, okay, they might know them, or they're, they're friends with an affiliate manager working at the network, or the founder. And we just ask them, like, hey, can you make an intro? Um, would, li would like to talk to that guy. That gives you immediately a, that gives you immediately way more trust um, in contrast to just you know cold calling an affiliate network and just sending in an application. So ideally, you want to find someone who knows either the affiliate manager or the founder um, of the affiliate network way better. But again, professional agency website is here way more important uh, if you have no one from your personal network. Then. How to work with an affiliate manager. Ask your affiliate manager for assets, and there are actually a few things um, that, that are important. Number one, ask for creatives. Um, affiliate managers share images and videos with you that work. You can, if, you have, if they allow you to do that, you can reuse it, and you just have to see if um, those, those images and those videos are still working, because if they have been used by um, other affiliates, and especially if the affiliate offer is a little bit older, uh, then um, you know it, it, the, the creative are kind of burns. But it will give you a good idea of what's working, you know. Because here, here's the thing you have to understand: in order to be a good Facebook marketer, there are just two points of leverage that you have. One that's actually a little bit easier, being like mastering the skill of, of Facebook media buying. And that's just a technical aspect of it. Things like uh, understanding how the algorithm works, understanding how to optimize a campaign, you know, all the hands-on stuff. And then number two is uh, the creative part. Um, coming up with good images, with good angles, with good videos. And if you're not the most creative person, the best thing you can do is learning for, from your competition. In that case, it's other affiliates. 
because your competition is the best case study in the world. So try to understand what's working for other affiliates. Really, really, really important. So reach out to your affiliate manager and ask him, hey, what are the images, what are the videos that are working? And he'll send you a Dropbox link uh, or a screenshot. You, you have to understand that your affiliate manager wants you to be successful. So, you know, he, he really has to help you out in order to, to generate revenue. So they, generally speaking, if they trust you, they share almost everything with you. So creative is one huge thing. Second thing, audiences. Um, if you get your affiliate manager to sh uh, share with you a custom audience of, for example, people that purchased a product in less than 180 days or lookalike audiences, great, because one of the things that makes Facebook so powerful is targeting. Uh, and, and something that, and, and in order to, to leverage the uh, targeting um, features that Facebook provides, like custom audiences and lookalike audiences, you have to have quality custom audiences and lookalike audiences in place. One way to get instant access to those uh, high quality audiences is getting them from the affiliate network. They're not doing that always, but again, if you establish a good relationship with them, they do that, and that gives you a huge competitive advantage because you know you don't you don't have to focus on building up a high quality audience first. And usually, when you're doing that, you're losing money first until the algorithm learns what distinguishes a converter from a non-converter. But if you're getting uh, a high quality seed audience from your affiliate manager, it gives you a huge jump start. Number three, landers. If you work with the advertorials again. Just ask them, hey, are, are affiliates, uh, other affiliates using lenders? If so, uh, what's working? Then number four, really important uh, policy issues. Ask, ask the affiliate manager, affiliate manager uh, do you know of any things that have gone wrong on Facebook? And he'll tell you, okay, we had this one affiliate and he just said that he tested this and that and he ran into policy issues. So really ask about if, if there's anything that you shouldn't be doing with a particular offer because other advertisers lost their ad account. Big thing here, many, many advertisers are not asking that, but the affiliate manager usually knows uh, if it's going wrong, right? And number five, if you're, if you're doing lead generation, uh, lead, generation, lead generation can be easier than selling a product because, you know, it's at the end of the day, it's and lead only, uh, you, you, don't re you, don't ask, uh, you, you don't ask your target audience for money. But the, the, the issue that you're having with the lead generation is uh, the lead quality. Um, especially as you scale, what, what, what usually happens is that the advertiser complains about the quality um, of, of the leads that, that you generate. There are a number of ways to maintain a high lead, high lead quality, but one of the things that you can do is to ask your affiliate manager for non-converting audiences. So either they provide you with an email list or they just share the custom audience with you and then they can go, you can go into Facebook audience inside and take a look at the lookalike, uh, at, at, at that custom audience that's not converting. So then there are two things that you can do. You can either exclude interests in your campaigns. You can look at, okay, so what are the things that, um, what are the things that, that a converting audience, or what, what are the things that, that all non-converters have in common? Is there like a specific interest I can exclude in my actual Facebook campaign in order to increase the lead quality? So just take a look at the custom audience, use this feature, in case you haven't heard of, heard of it before, it's Facebook Audience Insights, really amazing. Uh, you can just upload a custom audience and then analyze it and try to understand uh, what's wrong with that audience. Um, and then th another thing you can do, but you have to be careful in order to not uh, run into delivery issues, you can actually even create the lookalike audience of the non-converters uh, and exclude them in, in your campaigns. But again, you have to be careful that you're not limiting yourself too much with that strategy. But still, asking for non-converting audiences when you do lead generation campaigns, really important. It saves you a lot of money, a lot of headache, and uh, yet only very few uh, marketers are doing that. Third thing, try crushing it and get exclusivity. Uh, exclusivity means that you're essentially the only affiliate that has the right to advertise a product uh, on a certain geo, uh, in a certain geo or in a specific traffic source. Ideally, uh, you, you have that for, you know, 
exclusivity for both the traffic source and uh, certain geos. Um, so that happens very often, for example, with Giddy App. Uh, if you're an affiliate that drives a significant volume um, very early, they give you exclusivity very, I don't want to say very soon, but you know, once, you, once you've driven consistent volume uh, over, over a certain period of time. So then they say like, hey, Patrick, or hey, Ed Baker, you guys are the only ones who can just run Tracker, for example, in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, because you've done well in the past. Um, and before you ask for exclusivity, really important, just deliver results first. Uh, try, show that, that you can do a good job, uh, that you can not only scale, but that you can also keep a high volume over a certain period of time. Because, you know, just scaling something to, let's say, like, I don't know, 10,000 a day, just for one day and then going to the affiliate network and saying like, hey, uh, I want to have exclusivity now. I've proven that I can make $10,000 a day. That's not, not enough. You have to prove that you can do it over a certain period of time. Um, so really deliver results first over a certain period of time and then of course you can renegotiate um, payouts and caps. So you can either ask for, more, for a higher payout or you can renegotiate the cap. So if you're capped at, let's say, 100 leads a day, and if you see that there's still room and you have something that's working, you can renegotiate to get to 500 um, leads per day, for instance. So that's one technique. The second technique is deploying spy tools. Uh, one of my favorite spy tools is called Witch at Work. Uh, really, really great tool. It costs a little bit of money, but it's definitely worth it. So what you can do is looking at looking for products or ads within a vertical you want to go for. Uh, let's say within the gadget niche. And what you want to look for are ads that have been running consistently over a certain period of time and that gathered um, a, a certain amount of social proof. As you can see here, uh, this one ad uh, gathered 2,735 likes, for example, and more than 2,000 shares. So if, and, and that's logic behind it. If you can see that there's someone spending money on Facebook consistently, over a certain period of time, that means there is something that works. So what we do very often is just literally um, using widgets work and trying to find offers um, that other people are driving traffic to. And when I would click on this ad over here on the left one, there are two things I can I I, I can do. Uh, either just either just uh, trying to find the name of the affiliate network. Uh, sometimes it's displayed um, or, or the name of the advertiser. So here it's Giddy App. Um, or I can just uh, check out the outgoing URLs from, so that's basically the, the links pointing away from the landing page to the offer page. Um, and then based on the URL, I can try to understand, okay, what's, what's the CPA network behind it or what's the advertiser? So again, if you're not part of the CPA network yet and, you've, and you're seeing that there's an affiliate that's driving a significant amount of traffic to that offer, um, just try to find that network and hit them up. Either with a professional agency website, as we figured out before, or again, you can just ask, uh, or you can just look in, inside your personal network if someone can make you an intro. So that's what's really important um, about finding a CPA, a CPA offer that converts. Number two, how do you actually launch a CPA campaign. So once you have an offer, or we we found our offer. Let's say it's the tracker that um, the, the, the tracker offer that that I showed you before. Now, how do I really launch this campaign? What's important here? Um, what what you're seeing here is a, a lead generation offer that we run traffic to. It's um, sorry, it looks like the like uh, Google has just re uh, uh, just reshaped some of the. Of, of the arrows here, um, but anyway, so we have we have our Facebook ad, then we have a landing page. Um, it's it's a it's a offer within the business loan niche, and uh, we are essentially warming people up on the landing page, which is an advertorial. And then um, once they click on on the call to action button on the landing page, um, they get forwarded to the actual offer. So they pre-qualify first. Uh, we ask we ask them. Um, how many, uh, w what's essentially the revenue amount here is $10,000 and then if they have been in business for at least three months, if they qualify, they can um, ask for the amount of cash that they need and then they can provide their contact details and, and we're done. 
right? So that, that's the lead that we generated. So what Facebook advertising is actually all about is serving a, a really relevant ad and appealing ad to the right audience. So speaking of the right audience, how do you actually build up a, uh, a, a high quality audience? Because again, you can have the best ad, the best image in the world. If you serve it to the wrong audience, you're done. You, you will have negative ROI on your campaigns. So two things that are making Facebook so, um, so powerful are essentially custom audiences and lookalike audiences. And I, I, I probably, uh, you probably know what, what custom audiences and lookalike audiences are. Custom audiences, a custom audience is essentially a group of people that, that you put together, for example, all your customers. And it looks like audience is an audience similar to an existing audience. So you can go to Mark Zuckerberg, tell him, hey, here are 3,000 people that purchased my product. Please create a, a lookalike audience um, based on that. That initial seed audience show me 300,000 people that are just like my 3,000 buyers. And um, seed audiences matter. If, you're, if your uh, custom audience is shitty, your lookalike audience will be shitty as well. And, uh, what you're seeing here is a interview of, of Eric and, and Maria Claudio, the head of performance marketing. Um, and well, Maria also just confirmed again, and she emphasized that um, seed audiences are really important because the way their algorithm works is just analyzing seed audiences. And once it has a good understanding of how a seed audience is composed, it it, it actually clones that seed audience and turns it into a, a lookalike audience. So, how do you create a high quality lookalike audience or a high quality seed audience? Uh, we covered some of that stuff in the mini class uh, that, that I shared with you. So in case you haven't uh, looked at it yet, check out video one of uh, the, the mini class that, that we put together. Um, so there were essentially two more things that I want to emphasize in uh, this webinar here about how to create a custom audience. Now, this strategy is, uh, by a guy called Chris from the Facebook Ad Buyers Group. And it's actually designed for local businesses, but you can use it also for CPA campaigns. Works really well and we'll find out in a moment why this strategy is so great. So here's the thing. Let's say you have a sushi restaurant in Berlin. Um, and you have this amazing deal uh, between 1 and 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, let's say like 30% off. Uh, on sushi, and you know that there's a certain radius um, around your sushi restaurant that, w and within that radius, people are coming to your sushi re restaurant, and outside of that radius, people are just not coming to your sushi restaurant. So here's the problem. Facebook or your Facebook algorithm likes big audiences, uh, ideally audience sizes of at least a, m a million people. But here's what happens if I would say like, okay, Ah, so I have my sushi restaurant in the zip code. I would, I would just want to go after a specific zip code in Berlin. So let's say that's 100,000 people living in that zip code. And then, of course, I don't want to go after everyone in that zip code. I just want to go after the people that are interested in sushi. So all the people that are living in Berlin in that particular zip code and, then, uh, and, and are interested in sushi. Problem here is I will probably end up with like 10,000 people. And... That's what's really ideal because apart from the fact that you might, might run into delivery issues, your CPCs and your CPMs will be really expensive. So here's this carpet bomb strategy by Chris. What he's doing is he starts off with a video that's relevant um, and he's going after large audiences. So he would take a video, for example, or do a video about uh, how to make sushi and just go after everyone living in Berlin. And there will be a number of people who will not even watch 3% of the video because they're not interested in sushi, but then there will be a certain percentage of people that will watch it to the end, or watch at least 75% of the video. And if you're going as so broad, you're, you're reaching a certain number of people that are not relevant, but on the other side, your CPCs, your CPMs will be lower. So here's the thing, step one, take a video that's relevant, in your niche, try to go broad, and then grab those people that watch at least 75% um, of the video, create a custom audience, and then you can, for example, turn that audience into a lookalike audience and look, use the lookalike audience to scale and the custom audience that you built for retargeting.
So I hope you get the point. Instead of limiting yourself to a small group of people with interest targeting, especially if you're if you have something like a local business, um, try to go broad. And again, this works if you're a CPA marketer. Go broad. Try to use video views and the campaign objective video views that you build a high quality custom audience and then take everyone who watched at least 75% of the video. You can do a retargeting campaign with those people or you can convert that, that custom audience into a lookalike audience. And then you have a really high quality uh, custom audience that you can use for scaling. Um, and another thing that you can really do is using Google AdWords. Um, that's, that's a big enemy of Facebook, of course, but it's still a fantastic traffic source. Here's the thing. Google AdWords is expensive as fuck. It's really expensive. Like in the loan niche, uh, the, the keyword loan, for example, is I think the second most expensive keyword on, face, on, on Google, $44 per click. I mean, it's impossible to scale a campaign with a $44 uh, CPC. It's, I mean, it's just crazy. But here's something that you can do. Uh, Google AdWords has by far the, the best traffic quality, but it's also the most expensive one. So here's what you can do. You can spend like $500 on the Google AdWords campaign to build up your seed audience. And then you take that seed audience, the traffic coming from Google, and you convert it into a lookalike audience. So in other words, you only use Google AdWords to build or to, to, to kick off your Facebook campaign by creating a really high quality custom audience and then converting that custom audience into a lookalike audience. That's how easy things can be and that's how, how efficient things can be because, again, you're not using Google AdWords to scale a campaign. You use it to create a high quality seed audience and then you have a seed audience you can convert into a lookalike audience and then you can just go crazy on Facebook. So, two strategies here and uh, to show you just a little example of uh, the strategies that, of, of the first strategy that we deployed, the one with the 75% video views, um, that's a campaign screenshot of, um, I think that th these were products in the car gadget niche. It was actually a spray uh, for, for uh, the interior of cars and with the exact same strategy that I covered before. Um, you go broad, you try to go after people that watch 75% of the video, then you do a retargeting campaign or use that seed audience for a lookalike audience. That's the results that we got. Really cheap CPAs of like a dollar twelve per purchase, three uh, or euro, sorry, uh, euro twelve per purchase. Some were a little bit more expensive, around six euros. Some a little bit cheaper, around three forty three. But still, that's uh, the the, tra the campaigns we're seeing here right now are cold traffic campaigns. Um, spend a little bit uh, over ten thousand euros. Um, on, on that campaign and the ROI was really, really insane. So this, this strategy really worked and, and we haven't even done much testing and optimization. The reason why this campaign took off was just because the audience was so good and it's exactly a strategy that we deployed. So audiences on Facebook are really important. This, what I covered before, is a really efficient way of building an audience. So go ahead and test it because working with high quality audiences it's really a core component of launching a successful, uh, of launching a campaign on Facebook successfully. Okay, number three, how to scale your campaign. Again, scaling, that's something we covered in the mini class, but there was something else I wanted to talk about um, that I didn't talk about. That's the relevance score. And um, what, what I want to cover in, in this chapter of this webinar here is a client that we work with and I was actually really scared of, of working with a client because what they sold was not like shoes or uh, you know uh, I don't know like uh, cool gadgets that that you just buy on Facebook e-commerce products it was this thing here even to be honest until today I don't even understand what this thing can do but all I know it's a graphics card and interface. It's called DCP1000. You can Google it. It's from Kingston Technology. Um, it costs a few thousand dollars. It's for data centers. Uh, and, and the target audience here is uh, data center administrators. So uh, we, we met with, with our Facebook rep in Cologne um, two months ago. We, we asked her, like, what, what's the direction that Facebook wants to pursue in, in future? Where, where does Facebook see the future of, of their platform? And she said, like, yeah, you know, the future of Facebook is um, 
e-commerce and retail. And I was like, great, but we have this new client here. And then she's like, you know, B2B on Facebook is can be a bit sometimes, it's really hard. Um, Facebook is in a certain way a B2B platform um, because, you know, the, also, also people working in companies, they are on Facebook, but still their ad formats are not really designed for the B2B space. But we still tried and we tried to sell this monster on Facebook. So again, what you're seeing here is a graphics interface, um, target audience where data center administrators, apparently this little thing here can do magic. Uh, but what I will show you is so powerful that, I mean, I, I even didn't believe that the, the, the results we got from, from this campaign. Um, first of all, we, we're not super happy. Uh, we, we also designed and we built a funnel, so we were driving traffic to a landing page. And the lead price that we got was between like $191 and, and $378. Um, on average, we paid $233 um, for Elite with a small test budget. And the client was still happy, surprisingly, because what they used to pay for Elite was $750. Um, but we were not happy at all because $233 on average for Elite and the conversion rate really wasn't very very good on, on the funnel, even though we did some optimization. Um, I mean, it just really sucked. So here's what we did. Um, this, this is actually the funnel that we, bit, uh, we built. So the, the ad is really brilliant. I actually have to share it with you. Um, it's called, and so we, th there's actually a guy, his, his name is Father Robert. Um, he's, lit, he's really a priest. Um, as you can see, he even has like the uh, wardrobe of, of a priest uh, with this uh, white thing here. Don't even know how it's, how it's called, so it's a hero, uh, hilarious video. And uh, he has his own YouTube channel. He's re reviewing different uh, pieces of technology, among others the uh, new DCP-1000. So the ad that we've done is called, uh, says, uh, discover the brand new DCP-1000 SSD from Kingston. We will show you why the seamless piece of technology will take your data center to the next level. So we had this campaign here. We went after video views. That's exactly what I shared with you before. We just specified the interest targeting a little bit. The only interest we went after was data centers. And then a certain percentage of people watch 75% of the video, right? So we took those 75% and we um, utilized a, a ad, format called, uh, ad format called lead ads. It's essentially uh, that a user doesn't have to leave Facebook. It's essentially a landing page within Facebook. So he just has to click twice and the, um, the, the, the information, contact details, the email address gets automatically transferred to the advertiser. And again, he doesn't have to leave Facebook. So we essentially, um, worked with lead ads. We set up a retargeting campaign. Everyone who watched at least 75% saw this lead ad, and then we also used, um, I, I didn't include it here right now in order to not confuse you, but in case you want to um, replicate this technique, we took um, the 75% of the audience that, that uh, watched at least 75% of the video, um, created a custom audience, and then also uh, turned them into a lookalike audience. And then we set up a new campaign. So this is what we saw uh, more or less immediately because the ad was so unique um, with, with this Father Robert with the priest reviewing uh, this DCP-1000. Um, what you're seeing here is a relevant score of eight that this ad had, right? So what's the relevant score and how does it actually relate to scaling? So the relevant score is essentially telling you how relevant your ad is compared to other advertisers going after the same target audience. And um, Facebook, Facebook says, or Maria said on stage in Berlin, for example, that um, the, re the relevant score is not, not really a factor you should pay, pay attention to. It's other metrics that matter, like the lead price. But in the CPA space, if you're, if you're trying to scale affiliate campaigns, you, should, you actually really should have a relevant score of at least an eight. So you can, the range goes from one to 10, 
And having an eight is, in my opinion, really important because then you will really have a hard time scaling. So the thing is, how do you actually have a high relevance score to get like really great results? What's the technique behind that? Um, the relevance score is essentially a metric that's calculated based on all the positive and the negative signals. Uh, it's, it's calculated on all the positive and the negative signals that your ad gets, right? So there are people that like your ad and then there are um, people that are just pissed off by, by your ads. So the more aggressive your ad is, the lower your relevance score will be. The better the performance might be, but still your relevance score will suffer because people will start reported, for example, as scam. So how do you have a high relevance score? Here's a strategy for you that's golden. And this thing can just really lower your acquisition cost by more than 50%. Let's say you start off with a lead generation campaign. And if you do lead generation, you usually go, uh, you, you select the campaign goal conversion, right? You want to have a specific desired end result, and that's leads. So if you have a conversion campaign up and running, in addition, you have a page post campaign up and running, and that's driving traffic to the ad of your conversion campaign. So what you can see on the right side here on, on, this, on the screen, um, you can create a brand new ad or you can just take a page post ID of the conversion campaign ad and then just select or just, just pick or, or choose um, the page post ID in the page post engagement campaign. So it's not like two separate campaigns with two separate ads. It's two separate campaigns driving traffic um, to essentially the same kind of ad. But the conversion campaign has a different goal than the page post uh, engagement campaign. Excuse me. With the conversion campaign, Facebook is looking at giving you conversions at the cheapest possible price. And with the page post engagement campaign, Facebook is looking at uh, giving you engagement to your ad, but not necessarily clicks or conversions. So what you're doing with the page post engagement campaign is generating positive signals. You know, people liking, uh, liking your ad, commenting on it, sharing it. And that has a impact on the conversion campaign. And because the page, page post engagement campaign increases the rele relevance score of your conversion campaign, that will result in a better CPC and a better CPM and a better CPA. Um, so this is a really simple strategy, but it's just wonderful because again, if you're driving traffic to affiliate offers, to CPA campaigns, it's really important that you have a high relevance score of at least an eight. And one way to do that, if you have a conversion campaign and a page post engagement campaign and driving traffic to the same page post engagement ID in order to get your relevance score up. Fantastic technique, so I can just highly encourage you to do it. And now here's the big mystery, what happened after deploying this campaign. So we started off with $233 um, driving traffic to a funnel um, to a, to, and, and what we essentially offered in exchange for the opt-in uh, was a performance sheet about the DCP 1000. And again, you remember the client said, we, we're already happy with $233 because we used to pay $750. And here's what happened. We didn't even lower it to like $100 or $80. What happened that by deploying actually all the strategies that I covered in this webinar, we lowered the CPA to $6.65. And uh, the campaign is running consistently. We're, uh, at this time, we spent a little bit uh, over $2,000 on it. Actually, the uh, lead cost even went down to $6.20. I just checked it today. But you can see how powerful working with audiences is, how powerful it can be if you just you know deploy a funnel that, that I just covered before. Um, with, with going after video views after and then doing a retargeting campaign and, and utilizing uh, things like, like lead ads. I mean, this is a freaking campaign in the B2B space, which is really hard not to crack. And we really lowered it from $750 to $233 to $6.65. So imagine what happens if you deploy that in, in, in the e-commerce space. Um, so again, the, the reason I'm showing you that is not to, to encourage you to run uh, traffic or campaigns on uh, in, in the B2B space. I mean, you can do that, it works, 
Uh, but, but the reason why I'm showing you that is because it's super hard to run campaigns in the B2B space on Facebook. There are just very few marketers that master it. Um, uh, you know, the art of, of generating leads in the B2B space on Facebook. And what we did is deploying all the white knowledge that we had um, from running traffic to e-commerce offers, to, to, from, to, from doing lead gen in the, in the B2C space, taking that over to the much harder B2B space. And the results you're seeing here are just really mind-blowing. So I can just encourage you, take action on what we just covered. Um, we covered how to launch a or how to handpick a CPA offer. Then we focused on how to launch your campaign by focusing on the audience. And now I showed you how to scale by focusing on the relevant score. Because if you're able to lower uh, the relevant score, you can deploy all the awesome strategies. Um, but it, I mean, if you lowered, if you if you increase your relevant score and if you lowered your your CPA, you can deploy all the awesome strategies that they shared with you from the mini class. Um, so go ahead, and Eric, I think uh, that's it. Covered a little bit of content now. So let me just hand it over to you. Great, awesome. Thank you, Patrick. That was. Uh, sure. That was great. I think, yeah, that was the key. When you combine this stuff with, with what you taught in the mini class, uh, yeah, you, you have everything that you need here. So, uh, where are we now? We are through Patrick's presentation. On to, okay, so, here we go. Thanks, everyone, for your patience. So, basically, now the question I want, want you to ask yourself is, like, what what would it mean to you in your career if you could master these incredible skills? Like what what would it mean to you personally? Uh, what would it mean if you you know as an affiliate, as an e-commerce person, as someone who wants to build an agency? Like what if you could wield these incredible skills? If you were an affiliate on Facebook, you could catch a good trend. You could get the next flashlight before it goes, or even get flash get the next flashlight. Uh, you know, three months into it or six months into it, and there's still, the, because of the scale of it, there's still this huge opportunity to master the creative, to, to tweak your bidding, to build your campaign structures, and to make 30 to 60K in a month. That's still entirely reasonable on a, a affiliate marketing on Facebook. Or if you want to build out a store, you want to optimize it, you want to build amazing audiences, and build some funnels, create ads. Uh, it's quite possible to make 25K to 100K per month on Facebook. Uh, there was a post, I don't know if... Um, there's a Facebook group I'm a part of, and, and uh, this guy's been making the rounds where he's talking about having made over $300,000 in a single day on e-commerce. This is the kind of volume that, that can be achieved on Facebook. It's absolutely mind-boggling. This is someone who's been doing it for a long time and has built up probably dozens and dozens of different stores, but imagine just a fraction of what that could mean for your life if you're able to master these skills. So basically, when you master the world's most powerful ad platform, and then you basically take the most powerful tactics and strategies and tips around campaign setup, campaign optimization, campaign scaling. You are left with just incredible, unlimited power like the emperor. But you will use it for good, obviously, uh, as we're teaching white hat tactics here. So when you think about what Patrick is, you know, has done, he's basically built an agency over the past four years and he's through trial and error learned all the ins and outs all the ups and downs of how exactly to get the most out of Facebook he's not someone who's who's kind of jumped into Facebook and and use it at a surface level and, and scrape by with results he has found hacks he has found workarounds he has found exploits things that have allowed him to do amazing things on Facebook so you know funny enough you know we're at the point in the webinar where wouldn't you know it we actually have something that, that we think you might be interested in, and that is the Facebook Masterclass. So basically this is Patrick's last four years of trial and error running CPA campaigns, running e-commerce, running agency things, running B2B, and he has found the ins and outs, the tips, the tricks, the exploits, the workarounds that have allowed him to master Facebook ads. Now on top of this incredible knowledge that he brings to the table, you may have got this from just either the mini class that you took or what you've seen from him on the podcast or even just this webinar. Patrick is a world class teacher. He thinks about how to present things uh, really, really well. He puts them together. He's very polished. If he was a doctor, they would you would say he has good bedside manner. Uh, 
it's yeah, he's it's just a he's an, an incredible teacher. So basically, with the Facebook masterclass, this is what we're offering. You get five weeks of leading edge step by step instructions from Patrick, applicable to anything that you're interested in, from e-commerce to CPA to agency. Uh, we value that at fifteen hundred dollars, let's say. Uh, you get video walkthroughs, case studies, offer recommendations. Uh, cheat sheets, diagrams, all these documents that come with it. Over 40 videos, they're all yours to keep on the brand new iStack training platform. You get lifetime access to all of this material. We'll value that at, at say $500. Then, like all of our courses, if you're familiar with the six week AMC, one of the things that we love to provide that we think is a big differentiator for us is the live support live mentorship. So what we've done is we've gathered Patrick uh, as well as all the speakers from the FBML event, uh, all of the teachers of the acceleration modules which I'll get into a little bit and a bunch of other sort of high level Facebook advertisers who are available on Slack when you take this course uh, to form a, an amazing community of performance advertisers on Facebook. It's all broken out by channel. I don't know if you've used Slack before but we've broken it out all by channel so that you're chatting about specific topics we've given um, different moderators the ability to to sort of moderate each of these different forums, provide information for people that need it. Uh, it's just going to be an amazing uh, an amazing community that I can't wait to to kick off here. So that is you know e these people who are on this chat room they would be they don't even they don't consult and if they did it would be a thousand dollars plus. Uh, so getting access to these people in sort of this real time chatting environment is uh, easily worth a thousand dollars. So let's say the total value of this class is three thousand dollars. And if it was three thousand dollars, you know, you're getting Patrick, this guy who's done all this uh, amazing stuff uh, for fifteen hundred dollars. You're getting the lifetime access to the platform and you're getting this live Slack environment, this mentorship. So if you, you put that all together, it would be totally worth it. That's one good CPA campaign, one good offer that you managed to get at the right time uh, and then you're running it, and three thousand dollars you'll make in a week uh, once once you're up and running and profitable. So it's 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 totally worth it, even if it was at three thousand dollars. But it's not going to be at three thousand dollars, I can tell you that, because we'll also what we're adding to it, just like we did with the six week AMC, we went out and made partnerships with some of the industry's most interesting players. So James Van Ellswick, I'll tell you, he, uh, he does solar lead generation, so his presentation is based on solar lead generation. But specifically, what he's going to be teaching is his testing methodology. Uh, you know, when, with so many different variables on Facebook, if you can have a good testing methodology, rather than guessing or going with your gut about what a certain change is going to do to your campaign, James Van Ellswick is going to teach a simple, self-contained testing methodology that allows you to know exactly why your campaigns are, campaigns are succeeding or why they're fa why they're failing. By isolating different variables, it's you know some people say testing isn't sexy, but James Van Ellswick says it has saved him millions and millions of dollars, uh, and he's going to teach it to you. And this is the kind of thing that can be applied to any campaign, just like Drew Eric Whitman teaching this amazing uh, ad diagnosis class, where really we're providing him with the top 20 ad techs of the year for all different kinds of products. He's going to take those, follow them through to the landing pages, and he's going to dissect why these things work. Uh, in a class, and, and so it's going to be an, a master class on ad copy, copywriting. Uh, Paul Jayapal, friend of mine, super affiliate, uh, he spoke at FBML. He's going to be teaching an advanced level class on ad spy, not just using one ad tool, but using several in order to really understand what the advantage your competitors are using uh, and how you can leverage it for yourself. Uh, made a deal with Mo Ali Agel, one of the Shopify's biggest uh, up and coming affiliates. He's building a huge following. He's also a hardcore performance affiliate, so he really understands the mindset of affiliates, and he's doing what we call an e-commerce rapid prototype, which is how to get up and running with maximum profit in minimum time. It's exciting. And Hugh Hancock, one of our favorites, did a, an amazing automation webinar, uh, automation acceleration module on the six-week AMC, where he helped us automate pops, campaign creation, auto blocking on mobile display, and a few other things just using open available APIs. When I told him that we were doing a course on Facebook, he's like, you have to let me do an automation course because Facebook's API is amazing and I can do so many cool things. If you've caught his video from before, you know it, uh, he, he puts a lot of production value into it. He's actually a filmmaker and a video game maker. So I think he may have used, definitely he used a green screen. He may have used a motion capture suit. Uh, but he is uh, one of my favorite people and, and I'm really excited for, for that acceleration module. So each of those is valued at almost $500. Uh, so when you add those to the mix that we're including for free, 100% free in this first launching of our course. We're launching this course, we're only accepting 100 people 
we're almost filled up at, fill up at this point. Uh, we want to use this webinar to, to drive the last, you know, the last group of our core audience into uh, this course going forward. And at a total value of five thousand dollars, you know, this is if you master these skills, you're able to bring them to the rest of your career. Five thousand five hundred dollars would be totally worth it with this leading edge training, the live Slack masterminding, the five bonus modules, the lifetime access. These valuable skills are easily worth five thousand dollars. But you're not going to pay that. You're also getting another bonus. Uh, we have so let's take the vendors first of all. So you got ManyChat, Shopify, and Ad Espresso. So these are amazing tools that you can use. ManyChat is a messenger marketing platform, which we're going to talk a little bit a little bit about in the course. Uh, that can have ten times better results than email when it comes to to using your list. Shopify, obviously, we have a great relationship with Shopify, just like we do with Facebook. They're offering a ten percent annual membership and a twenty day free trial, valued at about a hundred dollars. Ad Espresso is doing an incredible $300 value where you get 30% off your first three months. Ad Espresso is a valuable uh, Facebook marketing tool which basically allows you to uh, throw up campaigns in more volume, test more variables. Uh, it's, it's a great platform that I've used. Uh, and then on top of that, th these ones are a little harder to quantify their value but we've got Ads for Doe, A4D and GiddyUp on board as vendors for our course. Now both of these places, as you may know, are not always the easiest place to get in as an affiliate. But what we're working on are a deal that we're, we're putting in place with both of these guys. Uh, you know, Patrick mentioned these guys are the top Facebook players in the space. They don't always let everyone on. But if you're taking the Facebook Masterclass, that's a huge vote uh, for your level of ability. So, you know, along with Patrick's um, ideas of making sure you want to have an agency page, make yourself look presentable, make yourself look professional. But if you're taking the Facebook Masterclass, you already have an in to get approved at these networks, to get yourself an affiliate uh, manager, to get yourself recommendations on on offers, and get yourself set up on the right foot. So, just like the six week AMC does with affiliate networks, we're doing that with the Facebook Masterclass, where with these two top level uh, affiliate networks, you're going to get expedited applications, you're going to get in the door a, a lot easier than you would otherwise. Uh, that one's hard to value but let's call it priceless. So uh, if we put it at, uh, if we, we talk about just the discounts, not even the priceless value of the introductions to GiddyUp and A4D, you're at a total cost of $6,000 and over the course of a career, it's a no-brainer. You, you would be able to make this money back no problem with this, you know, the world's most valuable advertising skill basically. Uh, you would, it, it would be a no-brainer. But of course, we are not charging $6,000 for this course. Uh, you're going to learn the most valuable advertising skills. You're going to take the past four years of Patrick building this amazing agency uh, and you're going to condense it into one six-week course with all of these amazing acceleration modules. You're going to learn how to be able to run CPA campaigns, run e-commerce. You're going to learn how to build a media buying agency and master in any, if you master any one of these skills, you could be making millions. You could be making 300 grand in a day like some e-commerce people do. Uh, no problem. So at that price, it is no problem. At six thousand dollars, it is totally worth it. But of course, we have this amazing introductory rate of fourteen ninety seven. That's what the Facebook Masterclass costs. Uh, it is an introductory rate. It is for only this first running of the course. When we relaunch the course, uh, not sure exactly when we're doing that, but when we relaunch it, it will be more expensive. Uh, and this is your opportunity to get the best value. And if you're on this webinar, you'll find out in a second that it is the biggest opportunity uh, to do because basically you're getting the most powerful ad platform. You're learning all the tactics, the tips, the tricks. All of these things that Patrick talked about um, will be put into the course, but they'll be put in even in a more step-by-step -step fashion. Um, so you'll be able to really master these things. You'll be able to go over them again and again because you'll have lifetime access. If you have any questions about them, you'll be able to hit them up on Slack or hit up any of our other top masterminds that we have on the plat on the Slack platform. You're getting these five amazing acceleration modules. Each of these teachers also available on Slack. Um, some of them are going to be doing live, uh, like Drew Eric Whitman, for instance, will be taking your ads uh, that you send to him via Slack, uh, and he'll be dissecting those for you in, in a live stream. Uh, we're working on live streams with some of the other mentors as well. Uh, you're going to get these free trials, bonuses, expedited applications to affiliate networks. Uh, it really becomes a no-brainer at $14.97. This is the best value you're ever going to get for this course. And you actually only have three days to do it because we're closing sales on the 30th. So now for the added special webinar bonus. Okay, so here's the deal. We did Facebook Mastery Live in Europe and we produced these recordings. We sold hundreds of these recordings because the, the, the vibe on this show was so good. Uh, people just absolutely love them. But if you buy today, everyone who buys today 
gets access to the FBML recordings, which is just basically like getting another full day of training from the world's best advertisers, uh, including Patrick, including Paul J. Paul, including James Van Ellswick, uh, including Stephen Kuhn and um, Thomas Barkey, this e-commerce professional. So you get to see the amazing panels that we did with uh, with Maria. We, we had a really, really fun panel called FML where we explained all of our biggest fuck ups that we ever had as marketers. It was just, just absolutely ton of fun. So you get this recording. Everyone who buys, who's, who, who hits us up on intercom on istacktraining.com and says, hey, I was on the webinar, where's my bonus? You all get this bonus. Now, the, the other bonus is only for the first five people, but the first five people that buy today get 100% free pass to Facebook Mastery Live Asia plus the recording. So even if you can't make it to Bangkok, we know some of you probably can and some of you probably will be there. Well, the first five of you who buy today get a ticket to that event for free. This is an incredible, that's, uh, you know, that's a lot of money basically that we're, that we're giving out the door right now uh, for people that are able to buy uh, the masterclass today. First five people who hit us up on Intercom and say, hey, I just bought and we confirm that you bought, you not only get the recordings from Europe, you're also gonna get a ticket and the recordings from Bangkok, so do not delay. Uh, so just go to courses.istacktraining.com and you'll be redirected to the Facebook Masterclass. You can just navigate on istacktraining.com to go to the Facebook Masterclass as well, but you'll see for something that is easily a value of $6,000, we're only charging $1,500, $1,497. So go right now and check it out. Uh, we have an awesome option where you can also pay over three months. This is something that, that uh, our new platform allows us to do. Pay over three months, uh, $5.49 a month. A lot more, a lot easier for a lot of people. Um, so feel free to take up, take us up on this uh, on this uh, option where you can break the payments out. We think a lot of people will will take us up on that. And if you have any questions, you can go right now to courses.isactraining.com and hit the little intercom widget there. And we're standing by to answer any questions that you have uh, about this amazing opportunity. Uh, so as I said, registration ends on August 30th. We want to. Uh, we're, we're, we have a, a lot of people on the course already. We're taking a few more. We want to make sure that we have a really good core group to, to go through it in our inaugural run. And, uh, and you have until August 30th. We're closing registrations then. So in three days, you better, better hurry up and get on board because spots are going fast. Um, I think we've just had our first purchase from someone on the webinar, so that's fantastic. So one of those, uh, one of those uh, live event tickets is gone. So that's really cool to see. Uh, so go now, courses.isactraining.com. This ship will have sailed on the 30th. You will have missed the boat on, on this amazing opportunity, so don't delay. Go now, check it out. If you if you like Patrick's style, you like what he's teaching, you want to learn Facebook, this literally, if you, you know what iStack Training does, uh, you know a little bit about AdBaker now, but you know that we, we, we only provide like the highest quality courses. We're not, none of us, our stuff are, is get rich quick. All of it, and especially now that it's a, you have it for a lifetime, to learn from, it's just gonna be something that accelerates your career uh, extremely quickly. Go check out some of the testimonials that we have from people that beta tested uh, the course. We have one from a, from a guy who ran an agency, he's a super experienced media buyer, but he took one look at the course, went, he went through it, audited it, and was just like, okay, this thing, if this was, you know, I would have accelerated my learning so quickly, I would have been uh, a lot more successful, a lot quicker if, I, if this course was around when I was getting started. So even if you have some experience, there's gonna be a lot in this course uh, that you can learn from. So go there now, take advantage of this, these amazing bonuses that we're giving out, including the, the conference stuff and the live recordings. Um, hit us up on Intercom to, to claim uh, your status as someone who is on the webinar. Uh, thank you so much for coming today, guys, and uh, good luck out there, good luck with Facebook, and uh, I hope you have a, 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 great, uh, a great Sunday here as uh, I'm about to go to the beach with my family. How about you, Patrick? What do you got uh, planned for the rest of the day? Uh, actually, I just wanted to, to grab a drink, uh, so oh. that's not well, very that exciting. Good. <laughs> Will be fun, though. <laughs> a anything else? Do we, have, do we have any time for any questions from people? Actually, yes. Do we got to run here? I don't know. I'm just trying to see here if we, can, uh, if we can take a look. So if you have any questions, you can just kind of, we have a few minutes here that we could work through some questions. Let's see if we have any here. Oh, nice. Yeah, there we go. We have someone who is shitting bricks. I don't know why. I don't know why they wouldn't just join now. Yeah. Oh, Roger saw the sales pitch coming. Uh, that's great. Uh, do we launch both camps simultaneously? 
Um, okay, so I wait. Let me just check. Was Isaac? Hey, Isaac. Yeah. So you're. Yeah, exactly. So, or actually, there are two ways of of, of doing that. Um, you can start with a page post engagement campaign um, to to generate some social proof first for a conversion campaign. But the way I like to do it is starting off with a conversion campaign and then just adding a um, a page post engagement campaign afterwards. Something you can do as well. I have mentioned it, but you can even add a like campaign at 5% of the budget of a uh, conversion campaign because one of the metrics Facebook is looking also at is uh, the quality score of your of your fan page. And the quality score is determined, by, among others, by, by the fan engagement. So this is nothing that will have like a direct impact on your campaign, but again, since Facebook is also looking at the um, at the at the quality score of your fan page, you can add a like campaign at five percent of the budget. The page post engagement campaign, I recommend keeping it at twenty percent of the budget of of the conversion campaign. Run it at the same time and keep it running for like three to five days, and then you can phase it out slowly. And if you see a rele relevant score is dropping, you can just turn uh, the engagement campaign uh, back on again. So I hope that helps. Nice. Two sales now. We have two of the. Uh... Affiliate Mastery Live, or sorry, the um, Facebook Mastery Live uh, sales gone, so that's awesome. Uh, just quick question here, because I mentioned I would talk about this. I, I, I said I would compare this to the six-week Affiliate Mastery Challenge, which we've also run. It's, it's similar. It's the same amount of content, basically. It's the same care taken in making it. The Affiliate Mastery Challenge is a little different because it's a mastery challenge. You literally, we have people who are just absolute newbies in media buying and this teaches you the very basics the six week affiliate mastery challenge teaches you the very basics in how to set up an ad server how to set up your tracker how to go into redirects and pops and it's like in that course it's like everyone is doing the same thing everyone is like okay K class now we're gonna set up our pops now we're gonna set up our um, our uh, you know our redirects now and, and people are kind of doing it together this class we're having as you guys can see there's people who are doing e-commerce stuff there's people who are doing CPA stuff there's people that are running lead gen you know we're not all doing the same things in this course and the, this course is designed to have that knowledge be applicable to everything everyone is doing now there is that act that aspect of like uh, building your own teams and your own masterminds by using the Slack channels because we'll have a Slack channel dedicated to affiliate marketing, we'll have a Slack channel dedica dedicated to e-commerce. So you'll be able to check in with people who are doing the same things. Um, but it's just it's just a little bit different. It's also the very first run. We've been, you know, the six week affiliate mastery challenge has been going on six times. This is the first run, which is why there's a big discount. Like the six week affiliate mastery challenge is three thousand dollars to nine nine seven. This is half that price to start because it's our very first run. And we want to just make sure that we, and we're only opening it to our audience. We only mailed to our audience. We're not working with anyone external for this. This is just for our audience, just for you guys to to see. So, so that's yeah. basically maybe, the big difference there. Maybe to add something there as well as, um, I mean, the the, the struct, it's it's kind of similar to the six week AMC because we we surveyed the audience and we under we understood what people really liked about the six week AMC and we kind of transferred that to Facebook. But the big difference here is that. It's really focusing on Facebook as a traffic source only. So, um, you know, redirects and pops, it's great to getting started, but um, there is no way you can achieve the amount of scale with those traffic sources compared to Facebook. And again, it's just focusing on Facebook because it's, it's a unique traffic source and it's also very different um, to redirects and pops. So it's essentially why people are so happy about the six-week AMC uh, of course, we, we just wanted to produce another high quality course. So we ex actually took the same things from the six week AMC to the Facebook master class. But the only difference is essentially just focusing on Facebook and the experts we are bringing on are Facebook marketers. No one's who's doing like media buys on Google or other networks. Uh, they do that too, of course, but you know, everyone's primary focus is Facebook. Nice. So I think that's, that's a major difference. There's a question here about spy tools. With, uh, I'm not a, well. Which ads work is a uh, spy? You know, spy tools are an interesting um, sort of situation right now with, with how Facebook views them, and they're they're sort of uh, super valuable for for what we do with CPA advertising. And I'll, I I can't say yet, but we're working on something um, that will just it, that will allow people who take the master class to have access to a spy tool. Um, to, to be able to subscribe to a, to actually a really top-notch spy tool 
Um, but but spy tools are they are they're very sensitive about people joining them and and the amount of people that they let on. Um, but we're working on something to I, I can't announce it yet, but we are working on something that should allow us to have some some in, some great access to it to a very top notch spy tool. Um, but again, I can't announce it yet, but we're working on it to answer that question. Uh, webinar replay, we will be replaying the webinar. Um, it's recorded, so Joe, you'll be able to, to, to see it from more or less the beginning. I actually think I didn't record maybe my intro part of it, but all of the really valuable stuff of Patrick's, um, I can always film a little bit more of an intro and, and throw it on there, but all the really valuable stuff, Patrick's stuff, and of course the sale, the, 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 sell, the selling stuff will all be available as well. Yeah. Online. Uh, what, what minimum CPA payout should we look for running on Facebook? What do you say about that? Um, yeah, so actually, it just completely depends on on the campaign um, or on 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 the offer that you run. So if it's like a simple one field form uh, opt in like legion uh, legion campaign, uh, you can you can maybe even be profitable with a CPA of let's say like three dollars. Um, but you know everything that's uh, about about making a sale you're in the range of at least like ten dollars here but again it totally depends on on the niche and on the payout so the the payouts that CPA networks are giving out are usually payouts that you can run profitable campaigns with um, and and again every offer converts differently and every offer is uh, attached to different requirements so you have a legion offer for example with one up in only then you have legion offers with multi-step of ins and the phone and, and the call center verification and then you have um, then you have offers offers with um, in the e-com space that are easy to sell. Then there are products that are hard to sell. Um, so it, again, don't worry too much about the payout. Just worry about whether it's converting or not. And that's an information you, you get for from your affiliate network. Um, if you you know if they if they have a good solid reputation, of course. But if you work with networks like A4D, you can be, you can be pretty sure that that they don't serve, that they don't give you offers where there's like no chance that they will convert. Of course, there are so, some offers, as I mentioned before, they will not convert for you, uh, either because you're just going after the wrong angles or because the offer is not really good, but they don't give you offers where they know you will lose money like 100%. Um, so don't worry too much about the payout. It should be reasonable and worry just about whether it's converting or not. Nice. One more question uh, that Patty has, and I know you, you actually cover this in the course, but uh, can, should we should we save that for the course, or should we? Uh, is there any special way to set up the Facebook Business Manager for running affiliates? I know yeah. you have some basic tips about that. So actually, that's a part of module one. Um, um, yeah. So here's the thing. Here's the thing with the Facebook work uh, with with the Facebook Business Manager. Um, th that's the first thing you really have to do before you run campaigns, um, because one of the things and Again, it's not only the way you set up the business manager, it's also how you present yourself as a business to Facebook because here's what happens. If you go through a manual review, that happens in usually in three cases, after $750 daily spent uh, or after $10,000 spent in total or after um, a policy violation and that also depends how severe it is. Um, if, especially if, you're, if there's a severe policy violation Facebook is looking at your business as a whole. And what they're also looking at is, for example, the agency website that you provided or um, the, 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 ACE, um, the, the, um, the the VIT number that did you add one or haven't you added as one. So there are like really tiny little details that matter. And there are also things that, that uh, you should definitely have in place. For example, creating as many ad accounts as possible and raising the ad creation limit because something that happens with Facebook disabled disables one of your ad accounts, you're not allowed to create any new ones, any additional ones. Um, so yeah, there, there are a few things to consider, but we actually did, uh, I think, like a half an hour video on that. Um, and, and also a little hack that Facebook will maybe be happy about, but there is a way how to bypass the ad creation limit to add more ad, ad accounts to your business manager. Um, but yeah, setting up the business manager is, is, is really important. The number one thing I would definitely consider uh, is, as I mentioned before, the, the website that, that you're using to join the CPA network, make sure to have also one in place for Facebook. So when they review a business manager, they think they're dealing with an agency and not with an affiliate uh, sitting in his pants in, in his room and just, you know, launching campaigns. Even if that's the case, 
try to present yourself as a company with like, I don't know, 10 media buyers, uh, uh, or at least someone, you know, who's, who's actually not doing affiliate marketing only, but actually working with clients. Uh, because uh, even, even if you run into, into, into trouble, um, it can help you to get out of it again. And, and uh, yeah. Nice. One more, more question more before we got to run here, uh, and it's just a question about budget. What, what do you say about people looking for initial budget to start? I'm sure it's very relative depending on, on what you have and what you're after, but what, what would you say about the budget question? Yeah, so I assume you're, uh, you're a CPA marketer, so I'd say you should at least start with like $1,000 uh, budget. Um, so you have, you have room for, uh, for testing. Um, and I mean, it's similar to, to, to what you need also for the six-week AMC or for any other traffic source. I, I, would, I would really never go below uh, $1,000 um, because you need two things. First of all, you need budget for, optimi for, for testing and you need budget for scaling. And if it's less than $1,000, then it's, I mean, it's not impossible. You can also get started with $500. Uh, but I recommend at least a thousand because otherwise you, you will will not be able to make use of all the all the things that that we covered here or that we'll cover in the course, like uh, different audience strategies, uh, layer layer layering, uh, look like audiences on top of each other, and and, and stuff like that. So a thousand dollars is the minimum. And more is always great, but uh, I think you should be good with around a thousand dollars. We. Now have four purchases from the, so we actually only have one more. There's only one more, nice. one, more. Uh, one more for the for the free passes to uh, to FBML Asia. If my my homie from Wahin, you know you're you're already there, so you you're hopefully gonna have to come see us, give us a high five in in Asia. <laughs> uh, but yeah, one more pass we're giving away. So make sure that everyone who has bought already reach out to us on Intercom and say, hey, I heard you on the webinar. I just okay. bought. We'll match it up. And make sure that you're there. There's one more available. Like I say, everyone who buys today gets the recordings from Berlin, but only five get the ticket to the live event. Uh, and uh, I can't can't wait to to meet everyone in in Asia. We had had such a good time in Berlin, and Bangkok is a hell of a fun city. So uh, sure. anyway, thanks everyone. If there's no more questions, I think that's probably good. Uh, Patty says thank you. Thanks for thanks for coming, everyone. And, uh, and hopefully we'll see you on the inside of the Facebook Masterclass. Remember, you just have until the 30th, one more, one more uh, available. Unless, I haven't actually checked PayPal, so there may, that may already be gone, but, but I'll check it and make sure that everyone who buys gets, uh, gets, gets the amazing bonuses we mentioned. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, Patrick. Okay. Go have a drink. See you guys. Bye. Okay, bye.